This is Ryan Abraham, Dan Weber, USCFootball.com Instant Analysis here at the Rose Bowl where USC lost to UCLA 38-20. to Dan, not a pretty game. Uh, USC jumped out to a 7-0 lead and it just seemed like that seemed like two years ago from when that happened. And you just, UCLA just went on a tear and it just never got better. No, USC, I mean, got beaten every, every phase of the game. Uh, got out coached, they got out hit, they got out smarter, they got out played, they got out quick, they got, you name it, they, uh, it went bad for USC. I mean, they didn't, they weren't really competitive any part of the game. Cody Kessler didn't look like himself out there, was kind of missing open wide receivers. But I think one of the interesting aspects, and we didn't get to talk to Sark about this, usually Juju Smith, I mean, I'm sorry, Nelson Aguilar or Buck Allen will have a big game. Maybe one, not the other. Neither one of those guys had a big game. I think it's the first time that's happened to USC this year. Well, you know, nobody had a big game. I mean, that's the problem. Uh, Sark said he felt like they were getting, with their pass rush, they were getting Nelson off his spots. And he, I mean, not, excuse me, they were getting Cody off his spots. He wasn't able to get... To where he was comfortable, you know, and they they just beat the heck out of the USC offensive line. I mean, beat them bad, just every way you could beat them. Uh, got a great pass rush, uh, blitzed uh, when they had to, but you know, they didn't really even have to blitz to to get to, to Cody. And a number of those, you know, plays where the ball is tipped or the ball is just thrown, whatever, he got, you know, he got just flattened right after after the throw. They were, you know, great job by UCLA. I mean, they. They are. They look way more physical, way tougher, just uh, and, and and so much better prepared. Yeah, better prepared for sure. And Steve Sarkeesian said that both U.S. both offensive and defensive lines struggled tonight, and that took its toll over time. Yeah, he said, you know, kind of figure out how to develop our defensive linemen like their defensive linemen. And you go, whoa, okay. <laughs> Gee, I thought, you know, he got Leonard Williams. I think he's kind of pretty good, uh, but. Uh, you know, and, and UCLA knows how to run that perimeter screen game. Uh, you know, the, the thing that doesn't get a lot done for USC, UCLA sure makes that a make that a physical, tough play. Now, obviously, it helps to have Brett Hundley as the guy doing that because you've got to account for him. But uh, man, they just they just you know pushed USC all over the field. I mean, this was 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 not pretty. That perimeter screen game really hurt USC, and it's something that's been a staple for UCLA if you look at that. USC's tried it, and it just didn't work. It seemed like USC defenders were surprised every time they saw that. That's really something that UCLA loves to do. I know. I mean, you know, like some of it looked like a replay of last year. It was just how are you surprised, you know, when that happens? Uh, but, you know, this just was a game where UCLA looked like they knew exactly what they wanted to do. They knew it was going to work. They were confident. They were comfortable, and they just kept getting better. USC was like surprised by what was going on and surprised at the speed of the game. I mean, we have thought that they probably haven't looked as as fast in practice as that they've kind of slowed down a little bit. And this is what happens when you're you know you're playing in practice kind of at a, a slower pace. Uh, it's hard to speed it up when you get to a game like this. We got some interesting tweets during the game, and one of them was Steve Sarkeesian did say that this was going to be the most well-conditioned team in the Pac-12. They just didn't look like that tonight. No, I mean, the fact that they couldn't run away from anybody on UCLA's team, that's really shocking, that, that there was no ability to create any separation almost at any time. And then one last thing, just on some of the coaching decisions. Uh, Strange play running Soma Vanuku after he hasn't played for months and really hasn't done anything or, or weeks, uh, you know, going for it on fourth down and kind of running the football. I mean, there was a lot of really strange coaching decisions, and Steve Sarkeesian talked about it a little bit after the game. Yeah, I mean, I, I think he's confused. He says, you know, on the fourth down and four, and they run the ball that, you know, this is what we, are, we do, who we are, we're aggressive. I think that didn't look like aggressive. That looked stupid. I mean, that just didn't look smart. I mean, it basically, and well, then why'd you run it? Oh, we thought we could, you know, it was a good run play. We had an advantage and they got, you know, we got stuffed at the point of attack. Yeah. If you get stuffed at the point of attack, it's not a good run play. Yeah. I mean, basically, you know, he said, well, we've been a power run team. Really? Uh, do you remember this, you know, team recently being a power run team? No. no. Would that they have run the ball third and two at Utah. I mean, I wouldn't have minded that, yeah. but now you run it with your basic power stuff. No. All right, well, it was a rough night in the Rose Bowl for USC. They got to try to lick their wounds and get back to it against Notre Dame next weekend in the Coliseum. For Dan Weber, this is Ryan Abraham. Check out uscfootball.com for more.